Welcome to Nine News. A Kulgadi publican is facing a police investigation after sparking a racial backlash. Deborah Arvins banned Indigenous people from her pub after her phone was stolen. Ben Hennessy has the story. This is the sign that sparked the furor and put the sleepy town of Coolgardie in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. You need to consider what she's saying before she put a um, right about it. That's directed to all the Aboriginal community and everyone's offended and are appalled by it. The poster was put up at the Denver City Hotel after publican Debbie Ovens had her phone stolen on Saturday. Somebody turns around and steals something from you and it, it hurts and yeah, so it's, it wasn't the right thing to do and I'm sorry that I put it up but you know, what do I do now? In the few hours the poster was up, several Indigenous people were refused entry. Despite Debbie's apology, her actions have stirred widespread anger. What is it that that Aboriginal people have to continue to be harassed, pushed around and discriminated against. This is reminiscent of something you might have seen in the old outback in the 1920s or in the southwest of the US in the Mississippi in the 1930s. Police could lay charges. The way it's been described to me, I think it could possibly meet the threshold of racial vilification. And the Equal Opportunity Commission says it could be racial discrimination. It will investigate if someone complains. It's purely and simply about discrimination on race and this hotel uh, should be prosecuted. Ben Hennessy, Nine News.